Hey guys, Button25 here playing SP once again. Today, I shall be launching Dawn. To, well, Vesta, which is just going to be a random asteroid. And Ceres. So yeah. 3, 2, 1. There she goes. 6 SRPs firing away along with the... What is this engine called? The, the RS-27. Lockdown. They're not working together with Cyberdyne, don't worry. We have Dawn here. I really hope that Dawn operates the series. I hope it has big enough panels. Now, prepare for booster Jettison. Dawn stage because we have we have thrusting boosters attached to those. Vehicle has broken the sound barrier. And it was performing a rather aggressive pitch down maneuver. It's correcting, okay. If those engines just pointed ever so slightly inwards. Right. Yep, they are. They're converging there. So a really stupid idea. Those engines probably need to be flipped, so. Well anyway, prepare for airlit booster separation. Airlit SRB sep. I thought they were just like... Prepare for boost... Prepare for... Fairing up. Fairing have jettisoned. They have not screwed us over. I repeat, the boosters have not screwed us over. You can see Dawn there, it's like... Help me, I'm burning up. But anyway, you can... For those of you who don't know, Dawn is an ion-powered spacecraft. With massive solar arrays, because I an engineer no electricity. You can see that under it was launched top of Delta 2 7925 heavy, which just means it had the bigger boosters. It had the Delta 3 boosters, prepare for stage step. Burnout. No, keep the engine running. However, point the spacecraft pro grade. See AJ ten firing there. Yes, I think that should be a feature in case be that even the retracted panels have will produce a small amount of electric charge. Not some of them. You see, this will give us a bit of spin stabilization. Oh, I should probably check my perhaps. Uh. Bring up orbit info. Counter perhaps is rising, so. Just keep burning, just keep burning. I keep burning until I'm. Um, until we reach like 80 kilometers. Because the burn will take quite a while with this. It has a rather low TWR. It could not support this payload at ground level. It could not support its own weight at ground level, probably. No. Just keep burning. And we're trying to stay. We're keeping directly on prograde. Because as well as ra that raises both our apps and our peri apps. Actually, you know what? I think we'll do another one of the the. We'll do what we did with New Horizon. Is keep the engine burning. We are, and we're going to go out forwards, which is basically the way we want to go. So yeah, we're yep, we're in orbit. Wait, actually, now that I think about that. Oh, never mind, we're going s to go slightly. We're going to go slightly wonky, but. But, eh. I 
How much more delta V in this thing? 100 meters per second. Delta V stats. Stage 4. Hey, that stage has delta V! Oh no, wait, yeah, this doesn't. Stage 2, however, does have some serious delta V. Right, we're. We're approaching AJ10 cutoff. AJ10 cutoff. SAS off. Spin stabilization. Activate. Spacecraft is spinning. Star 48 or whatever. Star something or other deployed. Star something or other ignited. This is providing us more than enough delta. This is providing us quite a lot of burn. I don't know if we should just no that no 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 that's not a good idea. I realized that that did, did, did. my idea was to hey maybe we should use this centrifugal force to to extend the panels, but no, no very bad idea. All right, we're just heading straight out so. In all fairness, we are. Well, perhaps it is dropping, but. That's actually not a bad idea if you think about it. There we go. Burn out. Separate the payload. Extend panels. Hold on, no. What? No. Activate engine. <laughs> oh my god, it's just. I don't know why I do. I just find that stage just spinning away that it's hilarious. Don't know why. Just check, th check if the engines are working. They are working. Right. Now. Set a target. All right, you're going to encounter. You're you buggers. You're gonna have a bug in carbon encounter, and that's something we don't really want. Actually, let's focus on that later on. How much delta visas? <coughs> More than enough. Got it. I mean, we could just leave this engine running for for two hours. That's that's a lot of time. Once again, we're moving around. We were moving rather quickly. Now, actually, um, just check it. Check for an asteroid. That we have a yeah. Um, maneuver planner. We don't need a home on transfer. Um, it should be here. Um, fine tune close to approach target to um. Just bring that down to, to just add a zero there. Hmm. Well, that will bring her. However, the burn is now. Yep. Burn, don't burn. We're burning through half a delta. No, not half. Right, 44 minutes of burning. Alright, guys, I'm. Hold on. Just Hold on. Okay, it's having trouble here, sort of, so. Anyway, guys, we're going to enter orbit, and my enter orbit, I just mean match velocities. So, yeah, since we'll be burning for 45 minutes on. Um, also, um, the reason Don is three ion engines usually is they like only is they only have one firing. So let's just say they need to keep the antenna pointed at Earth, and the one that they and the best way to use, do that is have that engine is for Don to be pointed this way. But it has to perform a maneuver, so you would need to engage the engine and and would accelerate while still pointing somewhat towards Earth. Is my is what I think is how they use it. You can see some. Okay, well, just 
we want to keep us level so we still get an intake of electric charge yeah until the it will only be 10 minutes or so but still until that's over I'm gonna pause recording so yeah see you guys then okay you guys we're one minute away till the burn completion Iron is full of power. Iron is not full of power. So, um, the reason Don has. Well, I think I've already explained why Don has large solar arrays. That also means that unlike most spacecraft, when they enter orbit, they go really low and then fire the engines. What Don is, is it performs basically a rendezvous and far away. And keeps the engine constantly firing to bring its orbit down. Okay, 50 seconds and 30 meters per second left. Ten seconds we'll drop out. Okay, I'm ready for five, but hey. Right, well, we've burned through quite a bit of Delta V. Oh no, we've already done that. Um, Alright. Are you serious? Well, then again, we did perform quite an aggressive course change, but... Eh. Because this might mean that I have to be a cheaty bastard. I have to use the infinite fuel sheet, but. And that would only leave like 600 meters per second, and that, that, that just won't be enough. So just a one hour burn. That's already where tag it is, but prepare for bear for ion engine ignition. Now, I guess. Well, let's see where we are relative to it. Right, let's hope we don't go careening into it, but yeah. Once again, recording pause. Okay, guys, we're 30 or so seconds away from completing the burn. I activate the infinite fuel sheet now because I got bored. <laughs> anyway, burn complete. Rendezvous autopilot. Um, engage. Okay. Yeah, this. I'm just going to go into this high speed time warp and, of course, rotate Dawn so it can get all the electric charge it needs. Yep. Oh, that's right, V thingamajiggy. V Y H I seven hundred, yes, that thing. So, want to get all the electric charge we can. Drop out of warp, and done. We'll just f what. It's like, I don't know what to do. This is literally like... Burn complete. Doing. See what I'm saying? Yeah, 
that's the that's where a target is. See what I'm saying? Off. Disengage. So we are approaching the target. I think the rendezvous planner has that information. Where does, does it say? Separate! Alright, I do want a bit. There we go, that's a bit more. Okay, that's a bit more okay. Closest approach thing. Mm. Mm. We fly within 150 meters, at which point are them? Kill our relative velocity. Drop out for the throttle. It does unnerve me that I cannot see my target. Which is a pretty bloody big asteroid. I don't exactly know what, what asteroid class it is. But I, th I would have thought that I'd be seeing that. We are pointing. The target velocity is decreasing, so. This is where it should be. Drop out of warp. There it is. Why did you cut the engine? We're still moving at a rather high velocity, and since. Since Dawn is an ion powered spacecraft with no forward facing us, yes, of course, because why should we? Because why should we have something like that? Hmm. Well, we just flew by our target. Zed, Zed, what are you doing? Oh, you idiot, your tongue accelerated full on. You fuck of an idiot. That's better, now switch back to relative velocity minus. Force roll zero is a bit... ...better. Whoa, Jesus! Not again! Or at least we're not as bad this time. But seriously... We're already 2.5 kilometers away. I think that block, that small dot there is. Now, relative velocity minus doing. Those are like, what are you doing with me? I am confused. No, 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 no. Well, actually, that is what I want to do. We don't want to accelerate way, 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 way past it. Five, four, three, um, four, four minute. There it is. There you are, you little tricky son of a son of a git. 
two minutes. I think I just just a very little throttle, so come here and um. Oh wait, that's pushing us further away from the target, isn't it? So it is relative velocity minus. I'm just trying to kind of push us. Let's push us closer. There we go. I'm really scared to time warp right now. Whoa, Jesus, yeah. Don't do that. Just life advice. Don't use physics warp. Okay, 2.8 meters per second is something even Dawn can perform easily. Hey, it would just be safe I'll just... <laughs> Gently power up the engines. So this will be our analog for Vesta. There we go. Now we have basically no relative velocity. And we, what we want to do is get closer to Vesta. That's what I'm going to refer to it. Basically, we're going to perform a almost what almost a landing on Vesta. You can see our uh, force rolls off, rotate to get our summary. The best part is, even if we hit Vesta at this speed. Huh. Okay, that just shows you brilliant size comparison. Throttle up the engines. Turn on kill rotation. Cut the engines. Yeah, you can see our one of our solar rays is getting getting blocked. Okay, well we're approaching our target very slowly. See us slowly closing in. Hopefully we don't want to get too close. What we want to do Let's get just close enough to take a surface sample, you could say. So you can see we're just sort of skimming along the surface. That is just a that is just hilarious. Right. Let's get out of here. Now. Let's change our targets, shall we? Also, please note, if we just stayed on this orbit. We would have a Kerbin encounter. We would go back to Kerbin. What would a periaps be? I, I don't know if I... Hold on. Instead, Trace is our ta dress as our target. Yeah, it... Yeah, would it really be worth... You know, it's not really worth it, so... Match planes with target at the next DN with target. We will still have that curving hunter, so. Let's get next node. Oh, for a second, I thought we were still so. Goodbye, Vesta. It was good knowing you. That was my first asteroid run, even can't be, actually. See, however, 
I will keep an eye on us to as we approach Kerbin's orbit. Oh yeah! Sun orbit around Kerbin. Nope. Oh wait, hold on. Yep, we're in Kerbin's SLI now. We're, we're coming in around the moon distance, so... There we go, so... Oh, I think it was too scared to do. However, I have no clue. Kerbin, so, hold on. There's the sun, so... Is Kerbin somewhere there? Ah, oh, screw it. We just... Fl we just wing... The there were two asteroids in Kerbin's SOI, then. I thought we are surrounded by asteroids, so NASA would... We're surrounded by asteroids, and I don't know their exact course, so one of them could easily just come in and hit us. And this one's the smaller burns, but... You know once the burn begins, I'll well. First off, I'll tell I'll tell Ceres to roll to get uh, Ceres Dawn. This is Dawn. Our target is Ceres. In this case, Dress. So yeah, prepare for roll. So yeah, it's an 18-minute burn. So just hold on a second. Waiting for it to drop out of time warp, and then I'll perform a roll. Ten. And it will just instantly drop from 5 to 1. Hold on. Yep, there we go. There we go. Dawn is oriented, so the panels are facing towards the sun. Ignition. So, yeah, so you guys have burn completion. Okay, guys, we're almost completed with the burn. And I think after this burn is completed, I'll um, pause, I'll end the video, and in the next episode, we'll go out to dress. Because it would just take far too long. <laughs> Probably because I have nothing. Alright. Extend the panels. Doing. So yes. Anyway. Preparing for. Main engine cut off in like 20 seconds. Drop out of time warp. 10 meters per second. Let's just get done spinning because why not? Good job! <laughs> Try stabilizing the laptop on. Okay. Yep! Dawn. <laughs> Dawn has some offset RCS, as you can tell. But anyway, I'm just going to end the video here. I'm Botchang25. Goodbye.